Well, thank you very much, Chairman Jay. Uh, this is a fabulous evening. President and CEO uh, uh, Charmaine, we appreciate uh, your leadership. It is well and good to celebrate 40 years of faithful service to the highest and best ideals of the American nation. And I think you all uh, should take that time and remember the hard battles well fought over the years, the principles you stood for, and this thing indeed to celebrate. So it's a pleasure for me to be with you and to sort of welcome you to Capitol Hill, uh, to thank you for what you've done and, and to say uh, how much I respect this organization. Charmaine um, was called on uh, when I was a ranking Republican on the Judiciary Committee to participate in two big confirmation matters. Now, these are not little things. Um, the you giving really one of five seats with the power to alter the Constitution of the United States. I firmly believe that Roe versus Wade and its descendants represent one of the worst colossally erroneous Supreme Court decisions of all time. It was an activist decision. There's nothing in the Constitution that called for uh, that kind of decision. It was a court that decided to politically impose their will. Uh, and it ripped out of the, uh, the public debate the ability for people to even alter it because the uh, argument always is, of course, well, you can't do that. It's unconstitutional. So this was really a, a big deal. So we have these two nominations, and I just share this to say how much I value you. Um, uh, Charmaine uh, testified with integrity, with skill, uh, with in a principled way that I think represented the pro-life movement uh, to an extraordinary degree, Charmaine. Thank you for what you did in those two hearings. And, uh, so. My colleague, Orrin Hatch, is, is correct in his analysis. He's been at this uh, a great time here in the Senate, and he stood firm uh, on those issues. And so we value that uh, participation. So the, those confirmations represent an opportunity for us to uh, make a cry uh, to the American public that I believe will eventually be heard, and that is good law should prevail, that our policies in this country as a nation uh, should focus on life, uh, should focus on decency, and focus on love for even the least of these. So thank you all for what you've done. I appreciate the honor of being with you tonight, and thank you for the support we got from you in times of great importance in the United States Senate. Thank you all, and God bless.